Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1650 as you can see right here in MSI Afterburner This one is the Gigabyte OC Mini ITX model from well Gigabyte I just said it Anyways, I just overclocked it a little bit here plus 50 megahertz on the core clock plus 100 megahertz on the memory clock You can see right here that under full 100% utilization it goes to about like 1930 megahertz 1920 megahertz right there right here the specs that I'm using AMD Ryzen 7 3700x and 16 gigs of RAM The 3700x is obviously kind of overkill for a GTX 1650 But something like a Ryzen 3 3300x will deliver absolutely the same FPS with uh, this GPU of course so let's get into it friends as you can see the specs are right here once again I'm gonna be playing this one at 1080p resolution of course 100% uh, field of view 100% uh, resolution scale as well and no FPS lock right there and going over to the advanced graphics settings we're now on the lowest settings except for the texture quality because it really does make a huge difference if you put it on low settings it looks like crap if you put it on medium it looks okay so uh, these are the low settings this doesn't really affect your FPS too much so you can set it to medium if you really want to play on low everything else is on the lowest settings and uh, here we go friends you can see that the game is looking pretty decent even on the low settings with the medium textures uh, yeah nothing to sneeze at actually the game is very very beautiful using any settings except for the low settings textures because it looks like crap yeah you can check for example my GTX 1050 Ti video if you want to check out how it looks with the low textures but yeah if you're playing this game with the 1650 just don't use low textures like it's not worth it okay anyways if you really really need 60 plus fps i guess this is as good as it gets of course at 1080p if you don't want to lower your resolution to like 900p um this is the way to go i'm not really sure if it will drop from 60 fps so far so good in this little area with trees and stuff like a forest i would say uh you can expect 70 something fps which is really really smooth for a game like this and i will even say that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is playable with 30 plus FPS you don't need 60 plus all of the time whatsoever if you want to hover around 60 FPS yeah the GTX 1650 is capable of running this game with around 60 FPS uh, we're approaching the most intensive area inside of this little city where I'm at and uh, yeah as you can see there 59 58 not bad guys it's perfectly playable I yeah I was expecting it to be playable obviously because I already tested the 1050 Ti which is a slower card and that ran pretty well what the heck is a wolf doing here um, is that oh okay it's from a mercenary all right then <laughs> and I also tested the RX 570 as well and I didn't test that one on the low settings because it did get 60 plus FPS all of the time at medium settings so there's really no point in playing on low with that GPU but this one being a little bit slower than the RX 570 well it still has what it takes to run this game absolutely fine at 1080p and of course if you are like me and you're fine with like around 40 fps in games like this one um you can increase those settings absolutely fine so i guess guys this is it for the low settings it still looks good it plays wonderfully well very very smoothly and if you are fine with these graphics in a game like this I guess yeah just go for it you know if you were wondering if your GTX 1650 could run this game it obviously can absolutely fine and you should definitely buy the game because at least I am having a lot of fun playing this game through so yeah all right friends we're back again after a fresh restart of the game medium settings across the board this is the medium settings preset of course and let's test it out let's test it out yes okay let's just start counting our FPS okay let's go <laughs> So you can see already that the game is not gonna be at 60 FPS even on average, but it does look a lot better. You can see the grass is a lot better looking and I don't even know if there was grass on the low settings. At least the render distance of the grass wasn't really there. Um, let's just get this wolf right here. Okay, good stuff. We should do something. I think I'm gonna conquest some outpost or something like that. First of all, I'm gonna go to that little city right here and see our FPS inside of it because it's usually pretty demanding, okay? Uh, my voice is cutting out a little bit actually today. I have filmed like four videos today because I always need to record 
record a lot of videos before I make the Sunday video, which I always do on Friday, uh, and that one will take all day to record because, uh, well, it's a special video, you know? You like it, I like it. Wasn't the wolf gray just like five seconds ago? I, I don't know, I don't care. Let's go. You can see that even in the most demanding area inside of this city. Jesus Christ, dude, why? Why do you have to be like that, Phobos? Why? Anyways, 52 FPS or 51 was the minimum so far, right there, and looking in that direction, of course. Again, 51, I saw it there. And uh, yeah, it seems like it's still completely playable on medium settings, and the game looks quite good. So if you want to play this game, I definitely recommend medium settings to go with the GTX 1650. If, of course, you are after that smooth experience of 60 FPS or 50 to 60 FPS, which is okay, especially if you have a G-Sync compatible monitor, it will feel very, very smooth. He, he isn't really seeing me for some reason, and I'm not really sure what he's doing. Look at him, just looking at at the ground, shoving his hands in the grass and in the rocks there. Hello, buddy, will he see me if I stand right here? Um, yes, he will. Okay, finally! Right, you are dead, friend, because you took too long. Hello, guys, can I sit with you, please? Right here? Hi. <laughs> Perks of playing in the easiest difficulty, friends. Yes, I am a noob even in single-player titles. I prefer everything to be very, very easy. This doesn't really seem like a very intensive area, but it is intensive for some reason. <laughs> Maybe it's the water, I don't know. Hello, people. What are you doing? I didn't read what he said and I was talking, so can I actually loot every... Okay, then. Yep. You, you keep working there, I just stole everything from you. 57 FPS average and 47 FPS 1% lows. The game looks beautiful here on medium. Maybe medium with high textures is not really a bad idea, you know, if you are into that. Right, guys, we're back into it. You can see already high settings are applied and, uh, okay. Um, uh, okay, surprisingly, or not surprisingly, we are getting around like 50 FPS or 40 to 50, so it's, what, like 10 less FPS than medium settings and the game looks a little bit That's better, cool. the lighting and the textures as well, uh, they are definitely noticeable, you can notice the difference here, as well as the render distance of the grass and stuff like that, I think, yeah, it, it looks prettier, definitely, and I like the graphics right here, guys, so if you want to play on high settings, and I probably would play like this with a GTX 1650 because in a game like this you really really want to enjoy the beautiful graphics that the developers put some effort into. Like, you shouldn't run a game like this on medium or low settings if you have something capable like the GTX 1650 of doing at least 30 plus FPS at the high settings. And as you can see right here, 40, not bad, it doesn't seem like it will drop from like 35 or something like that even in the most demanding areas in this map so that's obviously a very very nice thing yeah this is just really really nice guys look at the water quality right there this game is so gorgeous oh my gosh you can do it you know you can do it come on man all right i'm gonna kill you anyways right now bye wait a second this guy's he's a higher level than me isn't he yes 19 okay then Hopefully, okay, there's another one. Um, yep, this was not a good idea. I didn't really know that the guy was level 19. <laughs> oh, God, even the chickens. Oh, no, please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 the chickens are really, really badass, guys. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. So we just found a bigger city right now. I have never been to this city, and um, we're still getting pretty good FPS inside of it. So even if you you find yourself in a demanding area like this one it's it's gonna be very very playable as I told you guys the performance is quite consistent across the board that's what I wanted to say all right guys so uh, definitely play on high settings if you want like a 40 something FPS experience why aren't they spotting me well I guess yeah I'm playing on the lowest difficulty but uh, I want to take out this guy because for some reason he he he's a bounty holder or whatever it is. I, I have no idea actually. Oh my god. Okay. What 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 are you doing? Come on, come on. I can do this guys. Level 19 versus level 16. This is easy. This is easy. The mercenaries are harder to kill than these guys. So alright, we got a treasure right here. Good stuff. Oh boy. We're getting level 19 things. That's amazing. Hello, buddy. 
How are you? Oh, God damn it. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. There we go. Yes, I have no idea how I made him fly like that. But anyways, that's like the um, ability that I have. Okay. All right. I love the executions here. And pretty good loot again. Holy crap. All right. I am liking this. Somebody told me that shift and left click was to, like, break their guard, I think. So maybe... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Thank you very much, guy that told me that. I had no idea, actually. I don't really pay too much attention in the tutorials. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna save the game right now and do the very high settings next. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, friends, we're back into it. 1080p, very high settings across the board once again. Once again, no, we haven't tested very high yet. But anyways, okay, here we go. And uh, now we're in the 30s. Mm, Things are starting to get into the unplayable zone, but not quite yet. As you know, the game is pretty consistent across the board, so whatever you are, you're probably gonna get 30 plus FPS, but it's stuttering just a little bit, and it's just enough to put our 1% lows below 30 FPS, as you can see right there. Maybe it will smooth out in a little bit, I don't know, but uh, so far we've seen a couple of stutters here and there, and as you can see, uh, it happened again uh, and again. I I think they are very very consistent guys so that means uh, yes another one right there so I you can actually expect when the stuttering will occur uh, yeah and that means that it's probably a VRAM limitation guys right now uh, okay oh my gosh it's kind of hard to, to talk about these things while I'm fighting a gosh damn huge Spartan you know but anyways we should be able to do this pretty well I'm just gonna use my uh, sword right now and break his thing his guard okay good stuff there we go oh my god what whoa no this looked like a mercenary but no it's just the guy that actually holds the bounties or whatever i i have, I have no idea how it's called but wait what am i doing i was trying oh okay i was just defending all right I, instead of pressing shift i was pressing mouse four don't ask why because those have nothing to do with each other obviously but okay all right, we're fine right now. We, we, we're gonna do this. Maybe we're gonna get a little bit more loot right now, which will be amazing again. All right, 1% lows are still below 30 FPS, so I definitely don't recommend you guys to play on the very high settings. Just avoid that if you have the GTX 1650. I'm also gonna test a little bit of the ultra settings, of course, but if it stutters at very high, it will also stutter a little bit at the... Um, ultra high what the? oh no this is a mercenary all right this is a big one he has two maces what the hell never seen a guy with two maces here in this game all right we should be able to do this pretty well this guy is only level 14 so yeah i'm gonna use a little bit of a bow and arrow action right now Boo oh boy god what the heck i am quite low hp actually guys uh not liking that too much but yeah he's dead all right we got this whoa 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 just take it easy, buddy. I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> Holy crap. Right. Good, good, good. Okay. What did you have for me? Uh, a mace. I don't really like maces in this game. They're quite slow, but they take a lot of damage. So, yeah. There's no problem playing like this. It's just those little spikes in the frame time graph are just killing the experience a little bit here. Uh, they aren't very noticeable, but they are there. And if you are looking for them, you will notice those. So, uh, they just make the experience a little bit worse. I wouldn't really recommend very high settings here with the GTX 1650. Stick to high, high looks perfectly fine very very good looking and it runs perfectly well as well so uh okay uh, i'm gonna stop it right there it's ultra high settings so the game is pretty much maxed out except for the resolution scaling settings and stuff like that okay so uh let's i'm gonna start counting our fps and run around for a little bit if it does change i will cut like through that part and just skip all of this but i'm not sure if it will change like ultra high is really that demanding and uh, it shows that. unfortunately you can't really run this at ultra high settings i think the the 570 didn't really see much of a change coming from very high to ultra high but here the 1650 is struggling quite a bit i wonder if that's because of the vram limitation once again at least the game is not really stuttering anymore with those frame time spikes but the fps are just very very low so 
Um, don't play like this, okay? The game just looks perfectly fine on high settings, so no need to play on ultra high like this. Unless you want to take some screenshots or whatever, of course, and I actually might take a screenshot right now because it's really, really beautiful with these reflections and stuff. Anyways, friends, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next one, hopefully. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.